and welcome to Radio Waves by Tonabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans, and new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Panasonic R-1597 AM Portable Radio. I purchased this radio for a total of $20 off eBay. Had an issue with a corroded battery compartment that the seller didn't mention. He took $10 off, so in the end, it cost me $10. Sweet. You know, you always got to contact your seller if you buy something like this and it's not quite like they advertise. Sometimes they'll work a deal with you. In my case, $10 is pretty good. If I had to put a new holder in it, it uh, pays for itself then. So I actually was able to clean it up and kind of get it in there to work, but I will probably change it later on. So um, so you'll notice this right here, Apollo 13. Isn't this thing cool? I got this in a drawing. I won it uh, from an online drawing on YouTube. The gentleman is Wildcat Creek Survival. And you might recognize that name because he does frequent my channel and he's a radio lover. He loves the smaller radios that are good on AM, you know, long distance radios that are easy to pack away. And uh, he's a metal detectorist. So he was out there metal detecting and he found this. And I thought, what a cool thing. And so I entered and, and I won. So I kind of wanted to put this coin with this radio because this time, uh, Apollo 13, it was uh, around April of... Uh, 1970 and uh, this radio was definitely from that era this I put it right around the late 60s so possibly somebody was using this radio to listen to what was happening on this mission uh, I'm sure a lot of people were tuned to their radios and TV sets at that time so I thought this was a really cool companion piece for the video I thought I'd mention it this particular coin is like made of aluminum and uh, was made I think for the movie because there's a date on here it says 1995 I believe uh, but pretty cool nonetheless I really dig this logo. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of this. And then the nostalgia of the radio kind of putting a time and place to when this radio existed. So very cool. So I'll just put that over here and we'll let it just shine. Well, it'll shine over here. There we go. Get a little better detail. So the radio itself is pretty awesome. Uh, I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and tune this down while I talk to you. We're going to go over dimensions real quick here. I'm just going to bring this down here. All right, so across we have seven and three quarter inches, height we have five and a half inches, and depth is a whopping two and three quarter inches. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Uh, for size comparison, I'm gonna move Apollo. I'm gonna slide over just for a little bit, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I guess, bring this up some more. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I don't have much to show, but let's go ahead. Uh, CC pocket. Yep, this is back in the day. <laughs> AM band only. <laughs> wow, let's not show you where portable's gone. And here, here we have the Kato KA390. Now that's a good perspective right there. This radio here has a lot of extra features. FM, AM, shortwave, weather band. It's a light. It's, it has D batteries for power. Pretty cool. Uh, but that gives you an idea for size reference. I thought that'd be neat to show you. Yeah, banging the stuff around. Let me just go ahead and bring this back down. All right, get close and personal. And can't forget about our medallion of the day here. I just dig that. It's so cool. Yeah, definitely awesome. All right, so the radio itself features left-hand side. It's just a black plastic. It looks like a, a case for an instrument, like a clarinet or something. It's just kind of interesting, just simple black matte plastic. Uh, the front here, we have a selector for AC or battery. Cool thing is this radio does include an AC a power cord that's built into the radio and it's stores in the back which i'm not going to show you because it's too difficult to open up <laughs> but uh yeah you can plug it in which is great and it also runs on four AA batteries and that's what the selector's for right there um then we have the panasonic logo there awesome love it here we have a big speaker uh measures about four inches it's pretty awesome it has really either high tone or low tone you'll, you'll get to hear that here are dial it's kind of got this chrome embellishment around it and more chrome. And then the dial itself is chrome. I love it. And then you got this orange indicator, bright orange. I love that. I was like, look at that. Who would not want that? I mean, you can see exactly where you're at. Love it. And KC for kilocycles. So definitely older school radio. Uh, off volume knob here, tuning knob here. You can see a lot of use. The chrome on the knobs were off on the plastic. That's cool. Top, we have a handle. Uh, the handle is very stiff, probably because of ancient and not being used much. So, yeah, I'm not going to carry that around. On the right-hand side here, we have the high-low tone control. I'll show you. It's a huge difference. When you go to low, you really got to crank the volume up. 
There's your uh, headphone or earphone jack there. On the back of the radio. So you can get this around here. We have the vented case. And then we get this little badge, Model R, 1597-7 transistor. There's your frequency range, 525 to 1605 kilo cycles. Four AA batteries required there for DC operation. Uh, made in Japan. That's cool. So I love my Made in Japan Panasonics. They're just awesome. So ugh, get this thing back around here. So yeah, this thing's just a cool radio. I could imagine, like I said, somebody listening to this during the space race, you know, they're probably heard the moon landing on this one because when I looked up Radio Museum they said late 60s and this kind of feels like a late 60s radio so alrighty so we'll go ahead and turn it on we're gonna do a cycle here we're gonna see what we can find on the band tonight let me show you my CC pocket for reference it's 10 20 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago Illinois so you know my location and time and I probably have to unplug something Mr. Apollo yeah pretty cool right there I think alright so we are gonna get a little closer as I tune. All right, Let me just unplug a transformer. All right, yeah, big noise difference. Yeah, he's gonna. I'm gonna retire him because I forgot I got turned the radio. <laughs> but cool, awesome. All right. Republican uh, Low. campaign committee. <laughs> Hi. He's brought up that his opponent put out about 10 years ago gets really a rap album that had all kinds of problematic lyrics in it. Uh, one of the songs... Now, by the way, let, let me tell you, transcribing rap music is, is trickier than transcribing a A lot of travel here between 530 and 600. And it gets really tight up here. It's like, darn it. <laughs> now, during the day, it did real well. I paired it with my loop and it was really rocking. Well, prolotherapy is the efficient, productive model. If you want to solve pain problems, there's no need to pay excessive amounts because prolotherapy is just as effective as stem cells. I'm thinking that's 6.30. Uh, let's go ahead and just check that. I'll turn that down. Turn the pocket here. Six thirty. So yeah, that's uh, let's see. Is CFO a CFCO Chatham, Ontario, three hundred and ten miles, six thousand watt tower. Okay, we well, you know what that is. That's WSM Nashville. That's coming in nice and clear. Wow, cool. Local 670 with all their Ibach on here. City and the talent that they have with Philadelphia and what Doug Peterson did. Uh, it's very convenient for all of us to do that and understand why those dots are connected. We got but high low tool control. Thing. It's not just going to automatically happen. You're not just going to be here. Time, the days are 690. longer, the nights are warmer, so people are staying out later, and actually gives them more 700? opportunity to perpetrate, perpetrate violent crimes. And those actually go up. Is Cincinnati, uh, Ohio, 300 miles? As ice cream cells go up, so does violent crime. Now, with the you get the money out of the hat. So it's kind of a little bottom, you need a little more. Uh, 
Okay, so what we're hearing here is 690 TSM Montreal, Quebec. 763 miles. Kind of coming in faint, but I can get it. Something went really right there, actually. Yes. Yeah. How we all are, right? We're all a little bit different. We're 720. WGN, the same Chicago. Way. It said that I'm officially part of the Imperfect family. Thanks for eating ugly. There you go. Thanks for eating Okay, I'm not sure. I think this is 740. I don't know if they're playing music here or not. Just turn it down. Yep, CFZM. It comes in really good. Uh, so CFZM, Toronto, Ontario is 460 miles. Let's see if we can get WSB next to it. I think it's mixed in there, I can't really get it. Flew right out of the theater. Uh, are you? This is 760. I don't know why they're playing all this music here. Uh, this is WJR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Wild. Got a certain magic, right? Oop, up, 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 up. 5218. That's 800-463-5218. 780, 800-463-5218. Or go to selectquote.com. Don't control. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health, issuing company, and other factors. Not available in all states. Eight hundred CKLW Windsor Ontario. Two hundred seventy miles. Eight twenty. That's the WBAP Fort Worth Texas. Eight hundred ten miles. Somebody that's going to go toe to toe with Trump if he runs in 2020, which I'm not sure he's going to. We'll see. I mean, he's already registered. This is WCCO, Minneapolis, 8, uh, 30 a.m. This is uh, you know, 310 you know, miles. What do, you, what do you think the Democrats should do? What scheme of attack or whatever? And so, and that's what's sick about mind control or mind attacks. Or 840, attack. this is uh, no WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Autopsies where we see that maybe part of his brain Kind of trying to get KOA Denver there. It's just not picking it up tonight. May not be the greatest night. CJBC 860, Toronto, Ontario. This may be 870, I'll check it. Yep, this is WWL, New Orleans. Louisiana, 865 miles. CBS, New York City, New York, 750 miles. They're investing in lessons from the pros just for attendance. Uh, 890, WLS. <clears throat> the cool thing is this is uh, filtering out the noise from my camera because usually at 890 I have issues with my radios.
900, I think. Okay, this is 910. This is WFDF, Detroit, Michigan. Take it up to a thousand here. Wounded Warrior Project provides these ESP one thousand women whatever they need to continue their fight for independence at no cost for life. So now it's time for a grateful nation to step up. Join us at findwwp.org. News update. President Trump tells CBS's Jeff Galore he holds Vladimir Putin. So 1020 is uh, KDKA Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. The court says that the president's years ago, but yeah. Normally this is 1030. Could be busy, but not coming in. Programs. It's overly complex and confusing. This should Call be Eric Peterson and Peterson Financial Group. He'll 1040? Send you the Social Security Report for free. It's WHO, a guide to Des Moines, Iowa. To maximize your social 280 miles. Let's see, this is a music station I think might be 1090. Yeah, so we're just hearing it barely. This is a KAAY, Little Rock, Arkansas, 570 miles. Music station. goes up, you share in the gains, but when the market goes down, you are protected from losses. I'm at West Planning with Dave Mortarch, Sunday morning at 8, here on News Radio, WTAM 1100. If you're in the market for new signs, there you go, you got the call letters. Uh, the lovely uh, WTAM Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. All right, should have... Never been a president as tough 1120. on Russia as I have been. On News Radio 1120, KMOX. There we go. <laughs> Says it. St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Okay, let's keep rocking. Hi, I'm Johnny Rabbit. The 50s and 60s, and it's our honor. Growing up, the kids want to be rap stars, athletes, and drug dealers. Funny, KMOX. Hey, guys, I take the road. Exec Mark Zuckerberg tells technology website Recode that he finds the Holocaust denial, quote, deeply offensive, but also thinks it should not be banned from the social media site. Okay, 1140 is uh, WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. We are lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow's sunshine, highs. And then in more than 120 languages and dialects all around the world. So if you'd like to join listeners like me and Susan in supporting the Bible with your parents and financial. This is a local religious station in Chicago, 1160. You can see we're on the dial. Getting close to the top. <laughs> 1170. I have an ID for that. Which is the growing left wing in America. And if you think that it can't happen here, then you're really asleep. And I'm trying to awaken you to what they stand for, what they want to do. Okay, yep. Always political stuff going on, but that's 1180. Uh, Wham, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. By the way. Selectivity is really good. There's a lot of semi-locals you can dig out of here. We'll just go for the 1500s. I'm the Holocaust 
Bush denial, quote, deeply offensive. It's so good to be on your program, and uh, have a seat. Uh, it's good to be back with you. It's been a long time, but uh, we, we got, uh, I got a chance, and I just find this to be very, very special. It's a <laughs> A lot of stations in this little tiny part of the band up here. The alarm clock, and they're so exhausted and groggy and tired they can hardly keep going. Well, that's that's a sign that you're definitely unhealthy, and that is a sign that the adrenals are not working very well. Because cortisol is what wakes us up in the Let's morning. Let's see what like uh, alarm station car. we're on. Now, it, the way it is, if you look at a graph, cortisol is at the highest peak in the morning. And then it slowly declines throughout the day. 1510, uh, WLAC Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. That was a nice little snag. Cool. <laughs> I'm sure he will have been briefed. 1530, WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. A little bit off topic. David, I want to ask you a question about Facebook, because we kind of know, we think we know what Russia did this last election. This is a KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Really cool classic radio shows on the weekend. If you can't receive them on your receiver, maybe you can go on the Wi-Fi and listen to them. They're awesome. Facebook what to do, or can they? We'll see how high this can go. See, so this is 1610. This is a music station at 1580. We're going to see if we can get up to, I think it's just going to top out right at what they're saying. Sixteen ten. There we are. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, four hundred sixty miles. <laughs> so this sounds like sixteen thirty. So we're getting a little bit above. Sweet. I see where it tops out at and along the video. Getting 1660 here. Everywhere you look, there he is. I just ignore him. Peace. But no, no, Bill. Yeah, I, that's, no, I still need to know from your nephew. I'm glad you brought that up. 1680. Uh, do I have that written down? Yes, I do. WPRR, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 140 miles. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell them. So here's my thing. I still need. So this thing tunes out to 1690. That's great. Wow. Okay, turn that off. All right, I'll zoom this back up a little bit. Yeah, we'll do our final thoughts on the Panasonic 1597. R1597. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just see this. It's up there. Apollo 13. Sweet. So, yeah, I just I dig it. It's pretty cool. They kind of go together. I think I'm going to keep this coin with this radio. It's just awesome. All right. So, here we go. Um, Panasonic R1597 is a cool, yes, if you're into AM radios, you're into classic vintage radios, you can find one of these 20 bucks and under. By all means, pick one up. Is it worth more than 20 bucks? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty basic radio, um, though it's really serviceable. Um, I had to clean up the front here on the inside, and it was very easy to take apart. There was like five or six screws, and the whole thing drops out. Then your speaker has four retention uh, clips that are screwed in. You just undo those. That comes out, and you have to take your um, tool and loosen that uh, headphone port and take that out. And then everything drops out. Then you're, you just got your board with all your stuff, and you got the two halves of the radio, and you can work on them, clean them up. Do what you got to do. So, real serviceable radio. I love it. They did a great job with building this radio. 
Made in Japan, baby, yes. <laughs> it's awesome. So yes, this gets a buy for me uh, all day long. Just because of the history it represents, it's just amazing. It's just amazing to know that this is like a space age radio that, you know, this is, this was probably built and people are listening to this, you know, people listening to uh, Neil Armstrong on the moon with this radio. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. So if you like the video, big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. And third, but not least, comment below what you think about the Panasonic R5959, 1597, and tell me what you think. Do you love it? Is it not for you? Do you like classic radios? Just let me know. I'd be interested to find out. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.